Sebastian, good morning meeting. Yes. Hi. I'm coming. The handcraft, what is the handcraft? I mean, what is that? Is it just a job? No, it's not just a job. The handcraft is also to develop your brain mm -hmm. all the time, to sharpen your brain so you can emphasize things that, that matter. And if you don't do that, <coughs> if you, don't, if you d just get information and doesn't work for it, then you will decline. Yeah. Very slow decline and decline and decline and at last you are sitting with bad uh, magazines from the shop. <coughs> so if, if... Thank you. So if through your handcraft, handcraft man life, you don't strive for something and you don't work harder and harder, everything will eventually decline. Yes. Mm. And, and if you, uh, I saw a Titian picture in that. <coughs> I mm -hmm. saw the proportions. We are talking about the proportions. How wonderful the proportions was. <coughs> and, and in that way of making proportions, a man began to understand more about life than actually proportions. And I can't describe it exactly, but you see it in the Greek sculptures all the time, more or less, that that was probably the most important. And then they, they as Jan Ovitu has said, that it's made with the several differ, different models, not mm. one model, but it's created with different models. I think that's so interesting. Because the characteristic of a person <coughs> is, in some ways, a little bit narrow. Mm -hmm. But if, if you take all the beautiful girls from a little town like Oslo, yeah. <coughs> and you put them all together, you will get a very beautiful face. A very beautiful and even quite charming face. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, and that tells something about that. All these pictures, you put them together, then you get an idol. If you make a great, uh, a great blending and combination of uh, different things. Oh, all the good things yeah. of the humanity. You can say it's a sort of... Uh, you have the reality, and the reality can, is okay, but the reality is always a little bit bored. It's a little bit boredom, because mm. shoulders is always a problem when you shall paint people. Mm. It's the same as the lines here. Uh, <coughs> I try to avoid them all the time yeah. because it looks, it's just like, don't mess up with the nature. Don't make the nature more ugly than it is because we know very, very well that there is a lot of ugliness in this world, especially among people. Well, but do you think that that um, capacity of association to select <coughs> the elements of nature that please us and to put them together is something that can be uh, trained, educated? I think so. Yeah. You can get that dwarf to make the most wonderful proportions mm -hmm. if he has learned it and try to learn it. It's a sort of a system where you can where you can learn more or less everything, but you have to to try. I mean, if you take the ski lift, and uh, then you are all over, you know. You can't learn anything with taking a ski lift, you know. Or yeah. painting from photo. B yeah. By, by uh, yes, when I look at this book, this book uh, here. Mm. Yeah, this book here. When you look at that, and you look at mostly these people uh, that has been painting, after all, I'm sorry to say, but I'm sitting always back with two people that in some way discovered something just 
when the life was finished. Mm. <clears throat> and that is Rembrandt and that is Titian. And uh, why do I do that? I've been thinking of that very often because I can even pass a Bruegel picture with no problems. <clears throat> And even with the Madonna of, of Leonardo da Vinci in the in the the museum in Petersburg. So I'm wondering why, and I'm I'm more and more sure about it because I think it is to make <coughs> what you call it, as Jung was talking about archetypes. Mm -hmm. I think that. Some people make archetypes, just like some few pictures of monk that are actually archetypes. A lot of other people made dreamy pictures about people in suffering or in love or everything, but they didn't grip the archetypes. Something is wrong here. Something is right here. You can't say what it is. He makes the archetype. He makes the illustration. No. And he's looking up into the sky. Yeah, the he's, other one. Uh, he's not looking at the baby, so it's well. A, it's a way of showing that he's blind. They have chosen two different. Uh, yeah, but. Mm. And I think that after you have lived a sort of a life and trained, not train. I don't think training is something. I would say. You have to emphasize and emphasize and emphasize. <clears throat> go, uh, go into the story to articulate it, and you get it at last. I don't know mm -hmm. <clears throat> because it's so sublime, and this is it's okay, but it doesn't have the archetype. You can see it on the on the from that side too. What you chose, you know. That's very interesting, actually, because uh, yeah, you, this you, is so you know, dangerous, because there is a lot of pictures made in this world. It's horribly many pictures, especially from uh, the previous century. There have been so many pictures that you, what shall you do with all this trash? So don't make a new picture, please. <laughs> uh, make an archetype. <laughs> <laughs>